such that now when I think about, you know, this little tiny molehill of what I seven years ago was able to build with a Ruby on Rails application, now I can go way further. I, I can build, you know, if you've seen um, like the Hey email web client, like it's basically Gmail <laughs> in terms of its user interface. It's got lots of goodies. It's got, you know, a lot of very dynamic user interface features that we used to associate with single page application development. Like there's, right. there's the only way to do it. Uh, and now what I'm saying is that like, there is still a gap. If you're building like a, an in-browser music player, right? Like with, with all sorts of, you know, very app-like stuff, then yeah, you probably should be reaching for a single page application framework to build a true front end with a, with an API backend. But if you're building like, you know, uh, what, what most businesses are building, which is like, you know, not to be condescending about it, but like glorified CRUD apps with, you know, some, some, some cool components here and there, suddenly just pure rails with stimulus and very, very few JavaScript dependencies is actually really appealing and, and completely enough. It ha has been my experience over the last mm. few months of working with the tools.